This is for section 2-5 on algebraic proof. We're going to use algebra problems to help us learn how to write what's called a two-column proof. The left-hand column has what we call the statements. The right-hand column has what we call the reasons. Now, we like to number them. So step number one, I'm going to give us the problem. Negative 5 is equal to 3x plus 1. And over here, we're going to say that that's been given. Now, what do I need to do to get to the next step? Well, we learned that what we should do, as far as the arithmetic goes, is to subtract 1 from both sides. Okay, now we wouldn't normally draw that line. This is kind of the mental math, what I'm writing in the orange. But it creates for us our second statement, where negative 6 is equal to 3x. How did we get there? Well, that's called the subtraction property of equality. We're going to go ahead and use an equal sign for equality. Now again, the next step is mental math. We would divide both sides by 3, right? Which is going to give me my third statement, that negative 2 equals x. And again, how did I get there? Well, that is the division property of equality. Well, we have one last thing left. It's kind of corny, but in math, we don't like the variable to be on the right-hand side. We really like it to be on the left-hand side. So for step four, I'm just going to swap places with those things. But in math, we have to have a reason why we do things, and this is called the symmetric property of equality. And you have just written your first two-column proof. We'll try another one. Here's example two to help us with our two column proofs. I have the statement 2x minus 30 equal to negative 4x plus 6 and the reason why it was given. Now we want to think, what should we do? Now remember, what I write in orange isn't actually part of the proof, but I'm going to add 4x to both sides. And that's going to help me get to my second statement. The actual second statement is 6x minus 30 is equal to 6. How did I get there? Well, that's the addition property of equality. Now we're going to start abbreviating with Mrs. Berry's class. We'll write out addition, but we can call property prop, and equality is the equal sign. Now, we need to collect our like terms. I'm going to add 30 to both sides. Now again, what I'm writing in the orange, I can do mentally. I don't need to write that down. What I would actually get is that 6x is equal to 36. Now, how did we get there? Yeah, that was also the addition property of equality. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side of an equation. The last thing we need to do, and again, this is the mental math, is we're dividing by 6. So my fourth statement is that x is equal to 6, and my reason is the division property of equality. And you have done your second two-column proof.